What is going on everybody? It's your boy Tybo back with another video and today we are going over the best AR slash long range uh rifles to use instead of after the MG82 nerf. So first off before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot to your boy. Thank y'all for it. We close to 80 subscribers. Let's get that thing going. Let's give me the 80, please. It means a lot. Let's run up the views, the likes, everything. And if you want more content, like gameplays, there's going to be some gameplay on these weapons coming out pretty soon. But anyway, let's get into it. So first off, I think the best gun after the nerf is going to be the Fara. And there's multiple Fara builds. I'll show you a couple. I'll show you the one I think is personally the best. But yeah, that's that's here. I'll just get, let's just get into that gun real quick. Okay, so I got two builds here. I'm running the Gruz Press, the Liberator, Axe Arms, and the Spesnaz with the Spesnaz grip. Honestly, you don't need the grip. It's I was just messing around with it because it even gives it less recoil than it already has with the barrel and all that stuff. And then this is the other build I was running the Gru Elastic, the Liberator. You know, say it since you don't need the grip. Well, don't need the foregrip. Or you could run this, which gives it how to the horizontal and the damage range and gives the same bullet, bullet velocity as a liberator. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try this one out a little bit more, I think. But you have to run it with the Gru. You can't run the under barrel because its ADS is way too slow on this one. So that's why you kinda kinda gotta run the Gru. I don't know if the Spesnaz gives you let me know if the Spesnaz gives you more aim down sight speed, because if it does I'd run this, but if it if it doesn't, I'd run this. But I'm gonna try this out. This is probably I think this is the best build to run this with the Gru Elastic, or maybe instead of that you can run this with the sprint with the straight with the uh ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed, or you could run one of these with movement, or like yeah, there's there's so many, or you could run a laser to help with the movement and then like the effect with the yeah, it's you could there's so many I run this personally, but there's so many things you could do with this far. But basically, all the basics are three times sixty round, th three times in in like one of the two barrels, the Liberator or the Spesnaz IBK barrel. But anyway, let's get on to one of the next ones. The n this one, actually, this has like I think this the XM4 has the fastest TDK up to thirty meters. Then it is drop off is at thirty meters, and then it. But whenever I think the Faras is at forty. But then at 40 plus meters, this has a faster TTK. Watch out for a video on this on this build pretty soon. Um, it comes with the agency, the task force, the aquas three times, the, the 60 round, and the field agent. I'm running the task force because I don't know. Maybe I should try to run this. But I was running this because it feels like this has it bounces to the right a little bit. And this has a better aim down sight speed than the FARA default, at default. So it feels a lot better. So I definitely test out this man. Watch out for this. This I feel like this is being slept on right now. This is probably the most underrated slash slept on build. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. The next one is gonna be the C fifty eight. These three to me are the top three meta ARs. Okay, of course you'd run the agency. I don't know if you'd run the last barrel or the other one because I'm I'm pretty sure you'd run like the liberator or whatever the one that gives you bullet velocity and recoil control because this thing has like no recoil. And you'd want to run a great, you'd run the 55 round mag whenever I unlock it. Personally, don't have it unlocked right now. I'm leveling it up the, this up. My bad. I know it's not leveled up. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because, yeah. And then I'd run the very, the elastic or either of the things or, you know, just run something like that. Basically, the same build as the Fara is how you'd want to build this out. But this hits a little harder. It shoots a little slower. So it, it, it's weird. It's weird. It reminds me of the Amax if it shot slower. But pre-nerf Amex, you know. And let's move on to what kind? Where was the AR I would like to take out? Uh, let's just take out this AR for now. Assault rifles. Okay, so okay. Oh, let's give you AK-47. This is AK-47. You can run this. Spesnaz grip, sixty round mag. This okay. The only downfall with this AK-47 build, I run that barrel, is. It has a lot of recoil. It really does, and it's kind of hard to control. So maybe you'd, I actually would run the very last barrel because it helps with the recoil a little bit more. So that I run this if you want to run run a long range AK. So, but 
I don't really like it, especially if you're one of my console brothers. This this isn't it because it's hard to control this recoil on this thing. But let me hurry and build build this back out the way I had it, um, so I don't forget. All right, I think that's right. I don't know. All right, let's just keep on this class. So the AK is a great one to use. What else? What else? What else? Uh oh, the Krig. Y'all saw my. Oh, I thought I had a build for it. I have a Krig video up. If you haven't seen it, go watch that. But it is also a pretty. It's a pretty decent AR. I would say I don't know where I'd rank it. It reminds me of like the ground on the Kilo, like last season, kind of, where it's not the best. Uh, I'd run the Ranger personally on it. Because it, or unless you don't like the recoil, I don't really like the recoil on the crit. Well, actually, it's not really a recoil, actually. Never mind, I don't know what I was tripping about. But I would personally run this with the field agent because it does have a little horizontal recoil, unlike the Faro. But this is the build I'd run for the Krig. It's a pretty decent gun. I, I, I would want to see it maybe get a little bit of a buff. Or if the other guns get nerfed and it gets a buff. Um, it, the uh, Scar is pretty good in solos. Be honest, the M4, the Kilo, and the AN94, and the Growl, they all kind of suck right now, man. They're not worth using. Don't use them. Um, let's go over here to my... This is my uh, Kilo setup, if you want to use it. I know a lot of people are still stuck on the Kilo, but don't use that gun. I meant to pick this class, actually, but so I just showed that. But the Amax. Look, this is, like, the top three, and then maybe this is... The Amax is, like, is it there, is it not... It's personally not there for me because it's recoil. Like, compared to the other guns, it's recoil's ass. Don't use it compared to the, like, the other guns feel so smooth. But with the mono, the Zodiac, the VLK, the 45 rounds, the Commando 4 grip, this is the person that built I'd run for it. And then, let's, the next one is the Ram, everybody's favorite thing. It's okay for me. Symphony, Tifu, them guys run it a lot. But yeah, personally, if I had to rank them, I'd put the the ooh, this is difficult to me. I put the Farah at one, two maybe this and three this like, but I feel like this is being slept on. I need to use it a little bit more. I'm trying to get a blunt gameplay. I've had a couple decent gameplays, but then the, like you know I want to really show off this gun. And then after that everything's like, and then the Amax, and then after that everybody everything and the Amax and the Ram are basically kind of the same now to me. And yeah, so there it's very open. It's an open medicine to MG. Oh wait. Almost forgot about the LMGs. You can still run the MG82, but I still I don't think it's worth just because how slow it is. Same with the Stoner. That's my things on those. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, it's your boy Tybo. Thank you for watching again. Peace.